Kaya ha! Welcome to wonderful morning in the jungle. The topic for this video is free your prayers, free your meditations. Very often we think of prayer as something which is really static form. You know, you sit down, you meditate, or you put your hands in a certain form, and this is it. But I, I want to expand this idea to the fact that there are so many ways to invoke the divine in your system, and each one of them can be seen as a prayer, as a meditation. For instance, you know, the symbols that you see on my body, each one of them has a certain meaning. Um, all these objects here, my rings, each one of them is an invocation of a certain energy. And uh, even these uh, Shiva liquids here are a ritual, right? It's medicine, I drink it, it's an opening into the, the spirit world that brings energy into my system. There is no, no weird substance in there, it's just herbs, ginger and lime, etc. But that's, that's the idea. And so, you know, the marks on my forehead, the turban that I wear, all that is, is just part of a vast uh, life uh, ritual. And so when it comes to movement, you know, for instance, the idea that, okay, this is how we pray, this is a very limiting thing, limiting way of thinking, because the prayer can take so many forms. You know, it's like you can, you can put pressure here, you can bring your hands together, you can put your hands up, you know, you can, you can create mudras, you can reinvent the way this prayer or the, the, the way this prayer moves. It can be static, it can be, you know, an energetic thing, it can be like, you know, calling of, of the divine in so many possible forms. And it can be a movement as well. And all of that, all of that is, is prayer, all of that is invocation, all of that is, is meditation. And so um, if you free your mind, you know, you free your rational thinking from this having to look in a certain way, just open spaces of possibilities. I encourage you to use your instinct and use your, you know, your natural ability to tune in to actually identify what is the movement that actually matches the what you want to express you know once i do that for instance look at this this movement right um here we go i'm i'm tuning in and activating my third eye then to the throat or to the heart right pointing out i can you know with the fingers different mudras you can play with different fingers and, and feel the different feelings. You can take poses, use your feet, use the different um, yeah, possibilities to play. And uh, you can close your eyes, you can use a mantra. Or, you know, play with words, play with sounds, play with... Uh, with breathing, breathing techniques. It's all a vast, vast, vast field of possibilities. And you could design your own complete new system of prayer just like that. Uh, also, when it comes even to mudras, right? Within the, the Hindu system or within the yoga system, you have specific mudras or certain hand gestures that you can make. And those hand gestures, you know, have a certain mental meaning or concept behind them. But it doesn't have to be like that either. You know, if you go like, well, if you want to do mudras, I have to do certain gestures. No, free yourself from those mindset and just expand into the full field of possibilities. Now, it's just you, you, and your spirit, right? In direct alignment. There is no need for knowledge. There is no need for religion. There is no need for system that uh, gives you permission to do it in a certain way. Uh, realize that it's pure, total freedom. Expand your prayers. I hope you enjoy your day and I hope um, every single second of what's going, coming up is going to nurture you deeply. I love you. I see you soon.